Hi, did you know that light travels perfectly straight? If you look in a mirror, the image is, well, a mirror image. And if you pass light through a lens, the beam will retrace its path exactly. So tell me, what would you simulate the straightness of light with? How would you ensure that you always hit the center of a target, especially of a moving target? Throw stones? Let's see, try it. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be working very well. You hit the center one out of ten times, and the target isn't even in motion yet. Try something else. Waves? Okay, try those. <laughs> hmm, your waves seem to be sagging a bit. They're all over the place. And you barely hit the center of the target a couple of times. It's what happens with all one-way mechanisms. How about if you attach a rope to the center of the target? No, don't shake it up and down. That won't produce very straight waves. Try torquing it. That's it. That's the ticket. Torsion waves have no choice but to trace a rectilinear path along a taut rope. This way you guarantee that you will always hit your target. Not only can you fail to miss, but the target can go anywhere it wants, and the torsion wave will always make its mark. And they're fast. Nothing beats a torsion wave. Torsion leaves longitudinal and transverse waves biting the dust. Unlike transverse waves, which can only travel one way, torsion is bidirectional. It affects both endpoints simultaneously. Indeed, neither torsion nor transverse waves would travel straight if they weren't attached at the other end. And so simulating light with stones and deflecting them with a warped canvas is a bit counterintuitive. Next time, try doing your curves with straight lines. The reason you can see light from a distant star eclipsed by the sun is that the atoms that comprise the corona of the sun relay torsions to your eyes through taut ropes. So give yourself a pat in the back. Now you know why light travels straight, never misses its target, and curves around corners.